In this video I'm going to show you how to set up push notifications for Android. They are actually called, it's actually called Google Cloud Messaging and we're going to set this up through the Google Developers Console. So to get there you're going to go to cloud.google.com forward slash console um, and I don't think you have to put in the project there. But you are going to log in and then you should see this as your dashboard here. So what we're going to do is click on create project and going to give it just a project name. The project ID doesn't really matter. We're not going to be using that so you can just leave it. So once it creates your project you're going to um, see this screen. So let's go over and click on APIs and auth what you want to do is go to the Google Cloud Messaging API. Google Cloud Messaging for Android and we're going to click to turn that on. So it should be enabled. Once, if we scroll back up um, Google Cloud Messaging for Android you'll see that it's on there. What we also want to do is go over to Credentials and we want to create a new key for public API access. So we're going to create a new server key and I'm just going to leave this stuff blank. Create it. And then you're going to have an API key here. So this is actually going to be used for your PushWoosh app. So let me just create a new PushWoosh app real quick and I will show you When we configure the Android app, we go to configure, and what it's going to ask you for is an API key. Now that's where we're going to use this API key. We're going to just go ahead and copy that paste and paste that in here, and then that is actually going to set up our push notifications for Android. So the only other thing you need to do after that is just um, get your application code and put that into the uh, app push settings page in your WordPress site. So that's how to set up Google Cloud Messaging for Android, and I will see you in the next video.